different. That's the word that popped into my mind when I held the Nokia 7 Plus for the first time. This new high-end mid-range smartphone is quite different from what we usually see in Nokia smartphones with the elongated display and a newer design. So what else does this phone have for us? Let's find out in this review. Let's talk about the design first. This phone comes with a tall and trendy 6-inch display with minimum bezels that speaks modern. I am really into vivid and saturated displays and the Nokia 7 Plus has provided me with that. It is bright and sharp and for what it's worth, the display is top quality. However, at times the display looks so saturated that some colors take red, for example, look abnormal due to oversaturation. I noticed this while viewing pictures in the gallery. I had previously thought that this saturation was due to the cameras but viewing it on my laptop, I realized the extent to which the display was saturated. So even though the display is top notch, you might not like the saturation at times. And talking about the camera, well there are a couple of things that were strange here and there like these selfies where skin tone completely differs from others. However, the issue exists only in group selfies. Nonetheless, the selfies are great with accurate details and just the right amount of sharpness. The rare side is where things get interesting as the 7 Plus packs two cameras of 12 and 13 megapixel with Carl Zeiss branding. The secondary camera here acts a telephoto lens that has 2 times optical zoom. In terms of quality, the Nokia 7 Plus captures pictures with good details, accurate colors and ample saturation. This camera here is well enough for point and shoot pictures. And if you want to take pictures as per your own liking, there is a pro mode as well where you can adjust the ISO level, shutter speed and exposure. However, at times the exposure level was difficult to control. In some of the samples here, the phone itself cranked up the exposure level. But this is helpful during night time as the pictures have good amount of light in them. I took these samples of powder at around 8 in the evening and I like how lighted up the roadside is. Now I did face the issue of shaky pictures due to my shaky hands but the end result was always nice. There was a hint of noise on the objects in the background but it was not that noticeable. Now talking about the portrait mode, the device does justice to the pictures as it can effectively blur out the background of the images. The front camera also takes portrait shots but it was kind of a mixed bag as you can see from the samples themselves. Now let's talk about the software. The Nokia 7 Plus comes under Google's Android One project and runs stock Android. Being a vanilla Android fan, I really like using the 7 Plus with its lack of bloatware and smooth performance. The software has helped the processor as well as the overall performance of this device is flawless. I haven't experienced any lags on the Nokia 7 Plus. With the high benchmarks and smooth performance, this device is one of the best performing mid-range devices right now. However, there is an issue of the device warming up around the rear camera. There were times when it heated up to the extent of worrying me. This usually happened when I played some heavy games for a while or was on a video call for say around 10 to 15 minutes. So the performance of this device is very good but you may find the device heating up a couple of times. The Nokia 7 Plus is a metallic phone that is covered with what Nokia calls ceramic feel coating on its back. The material is just several layers of paint on top of the aluminium. It doesn't feel like ceramic but the texture is differently amazing. The phone also has a certain amount of heft to it which I have liked during my time of usage. What remains here from the older Nokia is the sturdy build which I have really liked during my time of using the smartphone. So those were the things that I have liked on the Nokia 7 Plus but there are some things that I am not satisfied about and the battery being one may come as a surprise. I got around 5 hours of screen on time during my usage which lasted for a day. With the 3800 mAh capacity on board, I thought the battery was going to be stellar. But the phone does support quick charge 4.0 so the charge will be back up in no time. The next thing is the price itself. I think the Nokia Plus is slightly overpriced and it would be much better if the company decreases the price by a few thousands. If the company does so, this will be the best bang for buck mid-rate smartphone in the market right now.
So all in all, I have quite liked using this device. It has everything that a good mid-range smartphone can offer like a vivid display, smooth performance, good cameras, stock Android. Yes, there are a few complaints I have with this device, but with what the Nokia 7 Plus has at Helm, I think it is one of the nicest performing mid-range smartphones in the market and you will not regret buying it. So that's all for the review. Tell us what you think about the Nokia 7 Plus in the comment section below. I am Pratima Adhikari and thank you for watching. Oh, <laughs>